We're gonna try uh, super fruit ghost hunting. Take two. Socks on. They still smell bad. Well, I haven't washed the socks, but it it's smells, better than my bare feet. It smells like when you put baked ziti into a fridge and then you take it out after a long time sitting in there and you open it up and you're like, oh, that is ripe. Are you kidding? Super for the best show on the internet. It's gonna be a really great episode today. You know why? Because we're summoning spirits. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not summoning spirits. I really want to. No, uh, no. Okay. okay, backstory. We're in Nashville doing tech rehearsals and we're staying at this hotel called the Millennium Maxwell Hotel. And I guess it's haunted. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. We were in the car with our manager and he was like, You guys know that hotel is haunted, right? And I said, Bye. <laughs> I know. But the thing is, Funny story, the night before, we were sleeping and I heard someone messing with the blinds and I thought Mitch had got up. <sighs> and so I looked over and Mitch was fast asleep, but I didn't really think anything of it because I was like, oh, it must have been the air conditioning or something. Right. But then once Jonathan, our manager, said that, I was like, I like freaked out. It was really scary. Wait, let me tell my story. Let me tell my story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was in bed, chillin', Scott was in bed, we were just about to go to bed, and I thought I heard him say something funny and vulgar, so I laughed. And he goes, what? <laughs> and I said, did you just say something? And he goes, no. So we have a really disgusting so ghost we're like, on our hands. <laughs> so maybe we have like this crazy ghost here. Oh, maybe we can relate to him. We named him um, Charles. Yeah, we didn't name him Charles. He just got a text from a random person that says, Charles invites you to play hang time. <laughs> And so it's obviously the ghost texting us. It's a 21st fire. century ghost. So let's just read a little bit of history about this hotel. I'm nervous. I think it's interesting. I mean, yeah, from a distance, not from the actual haunted hotel. Yeah, the construction began in 1859 using slave labor. That's old that's, as hell. That's already a bad start. And During the labor. Civil War, this hotel was used as barracks, prison, and a hospital. <laughs> It's like everything scary. In September 1863, several Confederate prisoners were killed when a staircase collapsed. 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 <laughs> collapsed. Collapse. <laughs> the hotel was also said to be haunted by a Southern Belle and two brothers who had been assigned as guards during the war. One of them who had killed the other and the girl in a jealous rage. <laughs> <laughs> You've been screwing the milk man. He was crazy. <laughs> And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife. He's so red. He ran into my knife. He ran into my knife. I would close it down, especially now that it's like full of demons. <laughs> I know. But, you know, you some So awesome. It's going to be great sleeping tonight. I like Googled how to summon spirits. And um, here's what you're supposed to do. Okay, set up some white candles. We don't have any of those. We don't have any of those. So we're going to skip that. No, I guess we can't do it. Set up a tape recorder. That's happening. Um. Sit near the candles, I don't have those. Okay, and then you say a seance, we have to hold hands. <laughs> okay. I'm not holding your hand. Please. No. You, we have to do this the right way. <clears throat> I don't want to do it anyway. <laughs> you're so, you're literally so boring. Please, Rude. just one time, and if he doesn't say I'll give you one finger. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have to say our beloved Charles. I'm not saying that, you can say it. <laughs> no, we have to say no. it in unison. I'm not gonna Please. say it. Please, no. one time. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna Please. do it. I'm begging you. No. Please. No. Are you kidding? Yes. You're not gonna do it. I'll do it. Okay. Our beloved, beloved Char Charles. Okay, we don't know if that's his real name. It is. Our <laughs> beloved Charles. We bring you gifts from life. No, 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 no. I'm over it. It's done. It's done. Moving on. Don't do it. <laughs> and I have to finish it. No, you don't. Commune with us, Literally Charles. Literally scroll up. I'm so over this right now. <laughs> and move among us. I hate it. If we don't take it seriously, he's not going to think we really want to communicate with him. I don't want to. <laughs> he is obviously not into it. Please. No. We call upon the spirits among us who wish to communicate. Please come forth and make yourself known to us. <clears throat> oh, I guess he's not here. <laughs> Wait, give him a second. No. He's shy. Whatever. I need a drink. <laughs> he's not here. I know, I told you. Maybe there's like an app that'll help. <clears throat> Like a ghost hunting app? Yeah. <laughs> Does it exist? Yeah. <laughs> ghost hunting app. Ghost Hunter M2. I cannot deal. Michael Weber, <laughs> creator of Ghost Hunter M2. Why in the world? 
<laughs> First of all, are you even a licensed paranormal artist? <laughs> Do those exist? Yeah. Okay, let's download it. Ooh. This is legit. I'm sure it is. Okay, there's so many options. Let's use the PEVP, whatever the f that means. You don't know what EVP is? <laughs> no. Electronic voice something? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was a really it, like, obvious acronym. Wow. <laughs> no, basically, like, when you see it in scary movies, it's like the little tape recorder, and it kind of, it, like, records their voice. Okay. When you talk to them. Do you want to use it? No. Charles, if you are in this room, please speak to us. Our beloved Charles, <laughs> we call upon... Stop. <laughs> what no. the hell is that? I don't know, he said unsif, unsif, unsif. <laughs> Charles, do you speak English? <laughs> no, that's not real. If you are here, please communicate with us. We want to speak to no, you. No, we don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you scared him a lot. I didn't do <laughs> Our beloved. <laughs> I will literally pee in your mouth if you keep doing that's that. That's gross. He's, he won't say anything. No, I guess he went to bed. <laughs> What's the Southern Bell's name, you think? I don't know. Carrie Underwood. Probably Carrie Underwood. <laughs> Carrie Underwood. No, that's weird. <laughs> Carrie. I, he said super I swear to God. Yeah? Do you watch YouTube videos? Are you a fan of Carrie Underwood? <laughs> He's so. Can you speak more clearly? We can't understand you. Should we say the seance again? Yeah. <laughs> Do it. He's tired. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? No. <laughs> I give up. Me too. This fun all lasted. Thanks for the chats. Charlie. So apparently we don't have any ghosts. And at least in this room. I mean, that one wasn't making any sense. Yeah. I heard him say superfruit though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. Hope he subscribed. <laughs> I am sure he subscribes. Yeah. You should subscribe too. Ah, I can say we. Welcome. We were pros at this. Anyway, so now it's time for our weekly obsession. <laughs> Ew. It's Charles. It's Charles. <laughs> What's your weekly obsession, Scott? My weekly obsession is dyeing my hair white. Wow. Well, it kind of ended up just really blonde, but it's almost white, mm -hmm. and I was so scared to do it my whole life, but I've wanted to since I was a freshman in high school. And I finally got the bravery like eight years later. And so, I did it, and I love it. So my weekly obsession is this sweater that I bought. First of all, it makes me look like a linebacker. <laughs> Second of all, it has Grace Jones on it, who's one of my favorite pop icons. She's a pop icon? <clears throat> sort of. I've never even heard of She's her. She's not really a pop icon. She was part of the pop culture movement, but sort of the uh, more artistic side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry you're not cultured. <laughs> okay, Charles, this is your last chance. And we're giving up. That's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Do it. So funny. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Goodbye! We don't get a song of the week. Goodbye! Goofballs. Goofy. Goofballs. I remember the first time I did a blooper or um, a super fruit video. I didn't know they did bloopers at the end, and I got like, yeah, everybody was on the comments. Like, going in. Watch the end! Watch to the end! <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, it'll never happen again, I promise. Just like when I first did Daft Punk Pentatonix and I didn't wear headphones. I still, there are people, I've done probably 150 Pentatonix videos 
and somebody will still wa randomly watch that one, which was from seven months ago or whatever, five, four months ago. I don't even know how long I've been doing it anymore. And they, people will still say like, oh, what are you doing? You have to watch Pentatonix with headphones. And I was like, I, I know, I know now. Everybody told me 200 times. <laughs> More than that, I think if I were to count those comments, oh my god, I was like so nervous to, to I like told my roommate Jessica, I was like, holy moly, I think I'm going to get canceled by the Pentaholics because I didn't do it with headphones. 